So there are a number of myths that we hold. Uh, really, the societal narrative is that old age, wherever you want to draw the line, over so, after some age, you're no longer the person you used to be. You're in decline. Uh, you're somewhat debilitated. Uh, you might have health problems and a lot of pain. You're mentally not as uh, with it as you used to be. That is, that is a pervasive narrative. And it's just not supported by the science at all. One thing we hear is that older adults are depressed. Well, they're not, statistically speaking. Of course, you may know an older adult who's depressed. Uh, that happens. But in general, the, what do you suppose the peak age of happiness is across 72 different countries? It's 82. <laughs> That's the peak age of happiness. And I think that together we can push that out another 10 or 20 years. I think it's only stuck at 82 because of ageism, of, of people feeling uh, less valued than they might otherwise be. There's no scientific or medical reason why most people can't be moving through their 80s and 90s happy and productive. Um, another myth, the myth of failing memory. Uh, it's true. We do slow down as we age. Uh, there are reasons for that. Um, one of them is that, uh, I guess I could throw in a little bit of brain science. Uh, that's why, why you're here, right? Um, the, uh, you don't mind a little bit of uh, introductory neuroscience, I hope. Um, the, uh, the neurons that have to communicate in your brain have to communicate with each other and transmit information from one to another. And they do this by sending electrical pulses. And the electrical pulses go down a, a, a fiber that uh, has to be insulated, just like the wiring in your house. It has to be insulated. If the insulating gets, insulation gets frayed or comes apart in your house, you know that you've got short circuits, or you blow a breaker or a fuse, or you could have a fire. Um, in the brain, if you lose some of the insulation, the transmission slows down. That insulation is made up by a sheath of fatty material called myelin. It's white, which is why we call some parts of the brain white matter. Those are the transmission lines of the brain. Gray matter, by the way, are the computational hubs, the actual neurons themselves. And then the dendrites, the parts that connect neurons, are the, um, the myelinated part. And for a number of reasons, uh, I, I don't mean to say that old age uh, or older age is filled with just rosy hope. There are problems as, as at any stage of development. Adolescents have particular challenges. Infants do. Middle-aged people do. One of the challenges we face in older age is this slowing down because the ability to form myelin degrades just a little bit. In many cases, it can be fixed. Uh, myelin is created by fatty uh, fatty foods, especially uh, omega-3 fatty acids as are found in the so-called good fish, like salmon and mackerel. You need vitamin B12 to metabolize the production of myelin. Many older adults are B12 deficient uh, because their ability to metabolize dietary sources of B12 has diminished. And you know, if you can go to the doctor, and most doctors don't do this as a matter of course, but you can say, I'd like you to check my B12. And if you're deficient, then you might want to take a B12 supplement under your doctor's supervision, of course. Uh, but that's one thing you can do to at least slow down the process of slowing down. But inevitably, we're going to slow down. But that doesn't mean we're going to all face memory problems. 